my best advice as a caregiver when approaching that subject, keep in mind their, their, their feelings, right? Make sure they're in a safe environment. I always recommend the home, right? Yeah. Everybody's comfortable. Try to see, yeah. Right. Um, and if you're from a big family, there may be multiple family members that are acting as caregivers. Mm -hmm. Maybe just have one person talk to them instead of having the whole family, you know, as a nurse and worked with families, you find that every family member wants to be there. They mm -hmm. want to be present and they want to hear everything and have their input. This is probably not the time for that. It's probably the time to have, if it's a mother, have the daughter, the one-on-one -on -one conversation in that safe environment and just say, hey mom, you know, I noticed that we're buying a few more of the, the pant liners that we were using previously. Um, you know, let's talk about that. Ensure that they feel comfortable and you know, let them know it is okay. Mm -hmm. Never shame them and never embarrass them. You know, when people start to feel incontinent, one, they, oh, I'm aging and this is what's happening to my body. Or two, it's, this is what happens to babies. Yeah. And we never want to make, make them feel like, you know, they're going back to being a baby. We always want to be respectful and sensitive to the nature of what's happening.